Hey guys, how are you doing? Right now, I'm just figuring out how to, um, I don't really know how to use certain things on TikTok. So right now, I'm just like trying to figure this out on my own. I wish I didn't have to go live to figure it out. I might should watch some video tutorials on how to do this. Uh, so yeah, I think. It'll take me a little while to figure it out, but hey guys, this is Mindset Coach Lachey Ray. How are you doing, guys? And I want you guys to know, like, no matter what you're going through, no matter how life may be falling apart, no matter how old you are, you could never possibly just have your life all the way together. You can have your life somewhat together, but there will still be always a part of your life that is not together, right? So I don't want you guys to beat up yourself and beat yourself down for not having your life together. Like we don't have our lives together 100%. We don't have our lives together all together all the time. Mindset coaching is really about setting your mind up for what God has called you to do and really focusing on the fulfillment and purpose that God has for you and just aligning to that aligning to the things that God said and the thing God has called you to do and just believing that God has a great plan for your life and knowing that if you walk in the fulfillment of God that your life can truly change I'm just sending out a couple of invites guys just a couple of invites but yeah just like when you're walking in the mindset that God has you to walk in, when you're living the life that God has called you to live, like the kind of mindset that reflects the life that you're called. See, I'm called and anointed to be a writer. So I, in order to be a great writer, I not only should study writers, I should not only um, think what does a great writer, what kind of mindset does a great writer have? Like to have mindset for the things that God has called you to, to have mindset to the things that God has said over your life, you have to prepare yourself. You have to study. You have to get yourself equipped for the things because the task ahead is greater than what you can visualize. Sometimes if you don't go prepared, if you don't go equipped, then you won't be ready when you get there. You'll fumble whatever it is that God gives you, whatever opportunity it is. And your mindset is so much important when it comes to not only your faith, but your belief. Because your faith says... I can overcome anything. I can split the mountain. I can overcome the mountain. I can conquer this. Your belief is I know and nothing can shake that belief. Like your belief is everything. And what you believe about yourself and what God said is so important to like where you're headed. Like right now, I my life is not what I expected to be. My mom, she's not in the best, best shape as far as her health. Everything in my life for a stable place to live and all that stuff is not what I expect, right? But I believe what God said and I'm trusting that God's going to work everything out from my mom's health to my my living to my future to the, the, the future that I want for my life, right? So that just means I need to have a undeniable belief and faith for what God said and I need to constantly have a strong mindset because I know every day the enemy is going to challenge me every day in in specific areas that he knows that I'm going to get upset about and I'm going to not allow him to upset me because I know these areas are very vulnerable parts of my life right now like my finances is a very vulnerable part of my life my mother's health is a very you know vulnerable part of my life like a lot of things are very vulnerable in my life that the enemy has come against but what I'm going to do I'm going to have faith I'm going to believe I'm going to pray I'm going to, I'm going to keep believing what God said that I'm going to keep believing that the seeds I sown will work out in my favor. When you have God on your side, no one else, you don't need no one else. You need God and God alone, right? So trusting that your mindset is enough to get you to point A and to point B, right? So from here to there. Sometimes the mindset that you have here is not enough for where you're headed. So you need to step your game up when it comes to your level of faith and belief with where you're headed. So your level of faith is okay to get you to point B, but your level of faith cannot maintain level B 
access right so when you have when you get to level b access you have to step up your faith to another level and when you get to that level you got to you have to you have to equip yourself for where you are right so now you're at this level, you get an understanding of where you are, you get an understanding of your responsibilities and tasks and what's coming with that, right? You need to equip yourself for how you're going to be a very good steward of all the things that God has blessed you with. So having the mind to always equip yourself for every secret.